Hello there, this is a quick demonstration of the version one of the algorithmic strategy building tool for the CTrader trading platform. I was going to give you a quick demo just to show you how to build a multi uh, time frame strategy based on the relative strength index indicator. So I'm going to go ahead, tap on the chart, type in the name of the strategy. I did it previously, strategy. Open up the trial version. Click on the blue button to start it. Now it'll take a few, a few seconds to start. Okay, the first window you'll see is the trial registration window. We just click verify. Tells me I've got 13 days left. It's a 14 day trial. And this window, window will come up. It's a floating window, it'll go anywhere. So the first thing we're gonna do is start building our strategy by uh, creating a name for it. So I'm gonna call it RSI hour daily because it's gonna be an hour and a daily time frame. I'm now gonna put the description in. So I'm just gonna copy and paste something I've written previously just to put it in here. It says the strategy will open trades based on two RSI indicators being bullish or bearish on a one hour and a daily time frame. So you want some kind of description there to help you understand what the strategy does. And this is useful for when you actually um, generate the source code for it. So the next step is to click on the choose indicators tab at the top. I'm now going to select the oscillators, relative strength index. Time frame is already hour. I'm going to leave the settings as default. Click add. I'm now going to change the time frame to daily it goes all the way up to monthly click add now on the right here you can see i've added two indicators that we're going to use for our strategy two rsi indicators default settings period the same um, hour and daily now the next thing i want to do is create our trade rules so i click on the trade rules tab click on here it says click add a new trade rule and i'm going to add the trade rule is picking the first indicator the hourly indicator and the trade rule is pretty simple bullish it just has to be bullish now i select the next one hour uh, sorry daily and again, bullish. Okay, so that's for the bullish trades to open up a buy, buy trade or to send a trade signal. And in this case, what will happen is when the price of the RSI drops below 30, because it's the lower threshold, it'll give you a bullish signal to say that this um, instrument is oversold and we should go into a, a bullish sort of trend. I'm going to do the reverse for a sell. And I'm just going to do bearish signal and the daily and bear a signal, save that. That's our two indicators we're gonna use. Two indicators for a buy signal, two indicators for a sell signal. And you can mix and match the indicators. You can mix and match the time frames. You can also have different trade rules for open up a buy position, and different trade rules for open up a sell position. It tells here you've got 48 trade rules remaining. The same with indicators. You can have 50 indicators or 50 trade rules. Now I go to risk management. I'm just gonna do a very basic risk management of take a stop loss of 86 pips. And I take profit of six pips. I'm not going to use a trailing stop loss. I'm not going to use a break even, and I don't need the max spread protection. Now, trade actions is pretty straightforward for this one. I'm only going to open up a buy position and open up a sell position automatically. You can also use this for trade rules. You can turn off the um, automatic opening of orders, and you can just set it here to send, send email alerts or telegram alerts. So you can just use it to sending uh, telegram alerts or email alerts and not actually opening trades. Now, if I go to review strategy, tells me here that I've just got um, an RSI indicator on one hour, an RSI indicator on daily. Both of those have to be bullish. It's got the and uh, word there. It tells me the risk management I'm using. It tells me open up a buy trade. The reverse shows you this for the sell trade. Now, this is a very basic strategy. Um, I'm going to show you now, um, but you can create more complex strategies with lots of different types of trade rules and risk management. Now, our next step was going to save this uh, strategy. We just click on the Save button. Now, it saved it to our uh, PC. So we can, um, at any time, we can go into here and we can get it out of here and actually load it back in or load another one we want to use. So the next thing that you can do, which is quite clever, you can click on this or the button tab at the top. If we can actually generate the source code based on the trade strategy or the trade rules that we've just defined. Now, this is very good because it means it allows you to actually have the code ready to use. You can use this code to back test. You can also use this code to run optimization because it has all your parameters in it. So you can optimize the parameters. Once you have kind of a basic framework for a strategy, you can use our development service to add extra features or you can actually add extra features yourself. So I'm going to click on the generate tab. Now this has actually created the code based on those trade rules. You can see here it's got um, the name of the pro uh, the name of the strategy, a description of it here in the comments. And if you scroll down, these are all the parameters that we've set up. The RSI buy, RSI sell, it's got um, for all the bullish and bearish um, indicators. It's got the indicator declarations, the multi time frame declarations. And if you scroll down, so it's actually constructing all your indicators for you for buy and sell. 
Um, and it's also got the logic for checking if a trade is open or not, then to open a trade. And if I scroll down, um, it's also got, here it's got the logic for opening the trade, the different volume you're going to use and all the rest of it. Um, so like I said, this is a very basic example. It's generated 270 lines of code. Um, what you can do with this code is just copy it. You can open up Ctrader Automate, create a new CBOT, paste it in there, build it, and actually run that CBOT. And you can also optimize and backtest. So this video was just to show you how to actually build a very basic strategy, how to create the source code for that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to um, import this code into Ctrader, build it as a .NET 6 uh, CBOT, and also how to backtest and optimize it. Okay, thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.